Hello and welcome to vanandboat.com. Welcome to my camper van. Um, it's taken a long time to, to get this far but I'm fairly happy with it now, it's pretty much finished. Um, one of the things that I installed about six months ago is this, the, the Wallace Diesel Hob. Um, I thought I'd do a quick review. Okay so here it is, this is the Wallace Diesel Hob installed in this kitchen unit. I actually got this unit out of a, an old caravan and it came with these glass covers and it fits perfectly underneath that. The unit itself is finished in a, a gloss black, it's a, a glass uh, surface and as you can see it's quite reflective so bear that in mind if you're putting lights in. In actual fact I've got this LED strip up here and we'll turn that off because it, it's a bit reflective in the camera. As you can see it's got two rings on it. The one on the left is the larger ring and the one on the small is the one on the right rather is the smaller one. The one on the left is quite powerful, it will heat the water much much quicker. And so if you're trying to boil something or, or cook your breakfast on it, then that's the one to use. If you want something to simmer away, then we can use the burner on the right. Down here we've got the control panel, and I've mounted it um, in this piece of wood veneer, and you can see on the right hand side we have the oven controls and we'll, we'll cover that in a separate video and on the left hand side we've got the controls for the hob very very simple there are two LEDs and a power switch which is this one here and the control the rotary knob that's for the, the temperature the yellow one is the status indicator and that will flash if there is a fault and one of the things I've found is if the, the voltage is too low uh, the burner won't ignite so it's something to bear in mind um, if you if you haven't got a decent battery. The one on the left is the burner and that shows when the gas, well rather when the diesel burner is actually alight. What we'll do now is we'll turn it on, push the power button here, okay? You can hear the fan has just started to run and the yellow status indicators come on. What we'll do is we'll come back up here and I'm gonna set a timer at my iPhone here, I'll we'll do that in a second, set the timer and we'll put some water on the boil. And I'll start the time when I stop the uh, the video and we'll come back in a, in a short while. Okay, so the hob has been switched on for just over a minute and if you listen in the background you can now hear a clicking sound. And that clicking sound is the diesel dosing pump. Now unlike many of the Herbispatcher or the Webasto heaters that people use, uh, I've got one fitted in here, the dosing pump is actually built into the hob itself which is, makes it much easier when you're installing it. You haven't got to go running separate cables and uh, having a remote pump so that's a really nice feature with it. It's now starting to heat. You can hear the burner has ignited and hear it running in the background and we've also got this yellow light on down here and that will actually stay on for around about 10 minutes after you switch off the hob and that is there as a visual indicator that the surface is hot because there's no telling that, uh, that the hob is, is hot to touch you just have to be very careful Okay, we've now been running for seven and a half minutes and the, the hob is starting to get warm. You can see there's some steam coming off of the pan there. Um, it's not as fast as gas. Clearly gas, you turn it on and it's hot straight away. However, for me, uh, not having gas on board um, is a massive bonus. Wherever I go, I'm always going to have diesel. It's a diesel engine. Um, and certainly the safety aspect, I really like not having gas on board. Okay, we're now 12 minutes in, and as you can see, I've got this nice hot pan of water. What I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna switch the hob off. I'm gonna go down here, and we're gonna press the power button. Now you'll notice that the fan is still running in the background, and the light has now extinguished, and that means it's going through its shutdown procedure. The fan will continue to run for another five or six minutes until the, the surface is cool enough um, that it's not going to do any internal damage. As mentioned earlier, this yellow light here will remain on. Okay, 